United States and Polish soldiers are deep in discussion. Out of sight, German soldiers are preparing to take part in a live fire exercise at the Drawskow Pomorski training area in Poland. <laughs> Polish soldiers assigned to 10th Armoured Cavalry Brigade, 11th Armoured Cavalry Division are first to make their way to the training area. US Army soldiers assigned to the 3rd Armoured Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division, start to make their way to the fighting positions at the start of this multinational field exercise at the Land Forces Training Centre, Drawskow, Poland, May 2022. The US M1A2 Abrams tanks advance onto the battlefield with green flags displayed signifying they are not currently armed at the start of this multinational live fire exercise. The soldiers here today are part of the recently reactivated Victory Corps of the US Armed Forces. In fact, V Corps is in command of 3,268 US and 5,887 multinational service members from 11 allied and partner nations, as well as the Polish, US and German soldiers involved in today's exercise soldiers from Denmark, Estonia, France, Latvia, Lithuania, Netherlands, Slovakia, Sweden and Great Britain are also taking part in other Defender Europe 22 exercises. It appears today the German troops riding in their Marder infantry fighting vehicles are supporting Polish land forces BMP-1 and Leopard 2 tanks. They are starting the exercise by conducting dry field battlefield manoeuvres against the American armour. The exercise will hot up as soon as you see the tanks and armoured infantry carriers displaying the red warning flags, signifying they are armed and loaded. It's worth pointing out Defender Europe 22 is a series of US Army Europe and Africa multinational training exercises in Eastern Europe, an area that has seen a sizable reinforcement of NATO troops following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The exercise demonstrates US Army Europe and Africa's ability to conduct large-scale ground combat operations across multiple theatres supporting NATO. Thank you. 